So we have a great question, which is a bit of a science question, um, from Engen Kazansi. 4727 and it's a uh, hi do you add any food conserving additive to your cookies for them to stay crispy after packaging mine get kind of moist thanks um i don't personally but um, i know what you're talking about my biscuits have a shelf life um, and at the end of that shelf life or if they're stored incorrectly if they're stored in the heat they uh, the first thing that happens to them is they get sweaty so the moisture that's in the biscuit starts to leave the biscuit and form on the inside of the packaging and then drip or collect back onto the biscuit and you get this very smooth finish to them um, and you can see it the surface becomes smoother and it becomes a bit sticky to touch when you open them up there and they also start to smell a bit so that's when they've gone off um, I don't think at that stage they're actually toxic they haven't got, released tons of bacteria or anything you know, it's sugar and butter and uh, flour it's, it's pretty straightforward but um, it's not very nice to look at and it's not very nice to taste so it's a combination of that and the plastic that they're in. So that's when they've gone well past their, their shelf life. But there are additives you can put in to keep your, your cookies and your bakes uh, for longer. So they're not all chemicals either. So the sort of natural things you can add are sugar, honey and salt. Uh, those are three natural preservatives. But one of the, or two or three of the more common ones you might find on ingredients are humectants and inverted sugar syrup. So um, I have a friend who makes waffles, you can look them up, so they're born and raised waffles and they're brilliant. But uh, he was telling me recently about potentially using inverted sugar. So I've seen inverted sugar, um, I don't really know the benefit of it, but it's known by tons of names. So I have a, a list here, um, I'll run through very quickly. Invert syrup, invert sugar, simple syrup, sugar syrup, sugar water, bar syrup, syrup USP, sucrose inversion, syrup mixture. Um, it's basically sugar which is made up of key two molecules or two types of sucrose and fructose and if you break them apart um, but keep them together then you break the molecules apart but they're still uh, in a mixture then they're no longer pure sugar they're now inverted sugar and it's to do with how the light breaks up differently it breaks up the opposite way that it does on normal sugar once it's broken the light bends the other way um, it's not my area of science but uh that's what it is it's inverted sugar syrup but the point is that it doesn't draw moisture in and out like normal sugar which so sugar's crystal you leave it out it'll go a bit sticky it'll get wet eventually by soaking up moisture in the air inverted sugar syrup doesn't do that so um but it, because there's no crystals there's no graininess to it there's no grit so you can't use the cream butter so quite often you'll see uh, ingredients on a product and it will say sugar inverted sugar like, well, why is there two sugars one is so you can cream the butter and get the texture that you want and get that structure that you need to get a crunch and a bite the other inverted sugar is there to increase the shelf life to reduce the amount of sugar in the product that's pure sugar that's going to cause moisture transfer but retain the amount of sweetness that you want in the product because if you take out all the sugar we just reduce the sugar to increase the shelf life then uh, it's not as sweet it's not as crunchy so uh, some people put in both but uh, there's other things you can put in things like, um, I've got one here is a humectant so it's not something I've used I only actually came across a, a really nice looking product for it um, recently on cake stuff so I'll stick a link in the uh, I'll stick an affiliate link in the, in the comments but there's one here from from cake stuff they're one of the biggest UK suppliers for cakes and baking material but it's called baking elixir and it's basically a, a humectant but it goes into anything that you bake um, I'll just give you their sales blurb here um, for use in all baked goods, game-changing product for all bakers and cake artists, a shelf life emulsifier, so it combines your, your ingredients for you and pulls it together in a better uh, consistency, to help bakers maintain the freshness, moistness, mouthfeel and overall quality of their bakes for longer. Because you want a degree of moistness, because um, you don't want a hard crunchy thing that's just going to fall apart, but you don't want so much moisture that it uh, makes them soggy. Um, in shelf life testing terms if you said when you send your products to a lab to get it tested um i think it's aw or aw2 um it's water activity is what they're really measuring is look at the the water level um in your product and what happens to it over time does it go off does it cause your product to to turn stinky basically um but that's what they're looking for and there are ways of sealing your moisture in in the crumb level and you know what exactly where you want your moisture distributed through your product how evenly that's mixed um, and you can use chemicals to do it so I say chemicals they're they're food safe um, but you'll see them either as a name like inverted sugar syrups or you'll see them as e numbers or whatever it is be it a humectant or a syrup so there are products you can buy uh, and put into it so the ingredients here in this uh, what they call baking elixir is monopropylene glycol and um, glycol or glyceroids um, glycerin is quite common but you'll also see them listed as e numbers so uh, carboxymethylcellulose, monodiglyceride, polyglycerol esters. So 
they're chemical compounds they're ways of breaking up molecules to get your bakes to stay the way you want them so they when it's finished and it sits there and it looks nice but once it's been sitting in a packet for three six months a year uh, even two years for especially with cookies you'll see them with a couple of years shelf life it's because they've got some of those chemicals in them which change the structure of your product so yeah they are available um are they in my products no um mine are really simple there's flour sugar and uh butter but i don't have the massive shelf life that other products would have and you see quite a lot of cookies they might have egg and milk and things in them they're going to have a very short shelf life they're fresh cookies and they maybe only last a day or two um, but it's up to yourself what you want to put in and what your customers want are they happy with a couple of e-numbers which are there for preservatives are they happy with a mixture of sugar and inverted sugar syrup you have to test it and see um, what works for you and what gives you the right product but one that your customers are also happy with